Okay, so we can look at there are two major ways to bring text into InDesign. So first thing I can do, I'm going to go and I'm going to open up. I have this Word document and here it is right here. And I can select, actually I'm going to take and delete these images out of here. Uh, and then you will see why, because they'll actually are there. Then they can be placed in. So I can come on in here and I can go to edit. I can select all in my Word document so I can um, select it. I can come on in, edit, copy. I can paste directly into InDesign. <clears throat> so what I would do is I would begin now. Maybe I want to make this a two column layout. I didn't start. I can come on up to the master and I can go to layout. I can go to margins and columns and I can change this to a two column layout, okay. So now I come on to page one is a two column layout, page two is a two column layout. Now, again, these columns really are just guides because if I was to you know, just place the text, it doesn't necessarily line up to these. So what I need to do is I need to actually take my type tool, grab it, and draw the box for the type. Then I would come on in and I could say paste. All right, so it has just pasted what I had from there. Now, one of the things is that the styling is not there, which is totally fine. You can go back in and start reading it and style, stylizing it. All right, so whenever I see this little red box at the bottom, it means that um, there is type that is still there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click right on it, click. And then if I come on in and draw my next box, We'll see that the type should go right into it, but let's see here. Hold on. Oh, there we go. There it is. Okay, so we need to load it into there, and I'm going to do it again so you can get the sense of how that works. Now, again, I still have it here, so I need to load it in just one click, and I can see that there it is. I come to the ne my next page. I'm going to double click onto my next page, draw my text box, and there I have it. I have my three different pages. All right, so I could come on in now and I could start changing things up and stylizing it. So the first thing I probably want to do is make this stand out more as a header. So I'm going to take it, I'm going to come on in, edit, I'm going to cut this. And what's great is, watch this as I start to you know, change this, move this down, the text goes over into the next one. So I'm going to line that up right there. And what I'll see is I come on into page three, it just moves into page three. So I come on in back into page one. I want to make this have a little bit of a different kind of emphasis because it is the header. Come on in, I paste, and I can come in and stylize it. All right, so then we could, and there's there's so much that you can do inside of here. All right, so what you would spend your time doing too is going through reading through. Um, here we have a quote. How can we go about and uh, you know make this quote look as if it's a quote? Well, I can select it, and I have uh, you know different features within InDesign to indent it and to create different stylizing. So let's take a look at how we would do this and we could actually create a paragraph style to accompany it. I'm going to begin by coming in and doing a left indent. All right, so I'm indenting it to the left. And I could even come in and indent it to the right. Okay. Um, Maybe I like that, just a slight indent. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, okay, all right, so there we have it. Now. I can actually create this as a paragraph style and then go back, start going through and applying it to the other areas of this where I have quotes. 
So let's, I'm going to select this again and I'm going to open up my paragraph styles and I'm going to say create a new style. And if I double click this, I'm going to see that it's based on my selection, left indent, right indent. Okay. I could give it a name. If I wanted to give it a name, I should have done this quotation quotes. I hit OK. Now I can come in and apply this very easily. So here we have this right in here. I'm going to highlight this and I'm going to click onto that. And there we have it. We can start going through real easily and creating a really nice sense of visual hierarchy um, throughout. Now, let's say that I wanted to come on in and I wanted to you know, bold this, where I could do the same thing and create a paragraph style. Let me show you the second way to bring type on in to InDesign, another, another way. So I come on in one more time, file new document. I want to have two columns, set it at two columns. Okay. <clears throat> now what else you could do is you could just come on in and go file place and you could find this. I'm going to open it up. And now I can see that it already is there, right? So you just come, it's loaded into, um, it's loaded on in to your cursor. Now what's great about this actually is that uh, it brought the styling with it. And sometimes you might like the styling with it. Sometimes you may not, okay? So again, I need to load it again, click onto that. There we go. Now it's loaded and I can just draw my second text box. I can go on in to my next page. Oh, I want to create a new page. Okay. And I can come back into here to this page. Again, I need to load it in my cursor. Double click, I'll always know it's loaded because I will see it there. Now watch this too, as I'm down in here, once what's really great, there's all these guides, once I get right up to where the columns are drawn, then the arrow turns white. So there we have it, there we have it. Two very easy ways to place type on in to a um, InDesign document. Again, we can copy and paste it. Um, or we can just go right in and we can place it directly in. Thanks so much.